Okay, I have two locks here, sent by Jake Gabriel. We have around the block, and we have this other one, Caduceus, Caduceus, I think that's right. Um, anyway, they're both like that. Uh, but he sent those to me also in a big box with a whole bunch of other stuff. He sent me some Cheetos. He sent me some Reese's Peanut Butter Cups with marshmallow tops. Two bags of those. Sent me Peeps in full of flavors. Never had those. That'll be interesting. I've got two different flavors of liquid smoke here. Um, which like just the teeniest bit must have leaked out or something because when I opened the box, oh, smelled delicious of liquid smoke. Um, I've got some barbecue rub. We've got uh, three different jars here. We've got red tomato preserves. Looks very tasty. We've got southern peach pecan preserves. Wobble, wobble. Um, that looks quite tasty. And we've got one more. We've got Peach Moonshine Jelly. Ooh. That looks good too. Um, so thank you very much for sending all of that. Um, I'm going to have to send you some stuff in return, some Australian stuff. Uh, so anyway, I should get to picking one of these. I'm going to start with this one first because it has a very slightly nicer keyway. And that's pretty much the entirety of my decision making there. Yeah. If we get into this thing easily, it's only masking tape, but still. All right, all right. So, leave that mummified. Extra tape away. So, catastrophe pin is in four. Pin four, catastrophe. Now, I'm going to be 100% honest, I'm not 100% sure what a catastrophe pin is, but I know he's very well known for them. Um, and that's my bad, but I'm going to find out. What better way to find out than live, you know? Yep, I think that will work nicely. I know he's well known for um, rattlesnake, pin and pin rattlesnake things. Uh, but I've not picked any of his locks before, so I've been looking forward to having a go at this for a long time. Um, all right, that does fit. It's a tiny bit loose. Um, it's my bent one slightly further. Mm. No, not really. Um, buried under all these snacks is my multi picks. Maybe I've got a one of these better. That's the fattest multi pick one. Are you very slightly thicker? Uh, nah, same thing. Whatever. We'll use this one. We'll make do. All right. Uh, let's go counterclockwise then. All right, give it a go. So pin one immediately binding up nice and solid. Okay. okay. All right, one's got a bit of spring now. Four. Five. Oh, all right, felt set. After tapping, I think that was three. length or any counter rotation that might be there. Oh, and, oh that was someone on the back, but I think we lost some things in progress.
Well, pretty sure we just overset the heck out of that. Put some things back down. Oh, all right. Definitely an interactive pick. All right, got a good bit of counter rotation and click out of two. And I think a set two might be set. Three's a bit springy. I worry that that's not set yet, but. A little bit deeper false set. Two more out of three. One, two, three, four, five. Pretty sure that's an action out of the back one, but let me go back over the stack to be sure. Sometimes something feels like counter rotation is really just the home core moving. Slightly better tension control for this thing.
All right, it really feels like we're getting places now. Got to be close, surely. Strong counter rotation there. Oh, no, no, oh, and there we go. Woo. All right, that was definitely a good interactive pick. I like that. Um, very much looking forward to seeing exactly what is in this thing. Um, all right, we will unmummify this key just for gutting. We can find the end of the tape. Oh, look at that. How's that for a nice key? Hand cut. Lovely. Yeah, pin six really had to go all the way to the roof. Um, turns out to be accurate. All right, uh, let's get this other crap out of the way. Slide down this pinning tray now. Slide this off. Looks like we have probably some Bible mods up there too, being how nicely done that is. Uh, so we need it. Nope, wrong one. This screwdriver. Uh, let's, yes, lock that back up. And there's a little detail on this back cam that I'd like to point out because this is a real nice thing. See, whoop. See how he's ground that off? So it's just round and hasn't got a giant tailpiece sticking up. That, that is great. More people should take that wood. It's a small, small detail, but means even when it turns all the way in your vise, it doesn't get stuck on things. That is a nice attention to detail. Appreciated. All right, key does. Uh, not work super well. Hopefully I don't need to pick this thing. Yep, there we go. It does work. Just like with a lot of challenge locks, it's a bit finicky. Uh, let's definitely stick in this shim though. Keep worried there. All right, get that in all the way. Follow up. And think about which way our key is. That way. All right. So, keep that down here. Use what we've got in the core. Ah, I see. So, ah, it sits in level. Yeah, no, it should work. Yeah. I don't know. It does. Anyway, uh, what have we got in this thing? Let's slide this key out. Get something pointy ish, so we've got nothing on one and nice undercut there on two and on three and on four, nothing on five, and we thread it all the way up six. All right, Some tweezers. So keep in one is standard, keep in two is. Directed. Some isolations. Three. Similar. Four. Standard. Five is a standard key pin. And the six is a ball bearing and a hollow wafer thing. The ball bearing would sit in the middle. That is nifty. All right, now for the real action, slide that shim out. It's all about the drivers. So one is a standard pin. Two. Whoa. All right, that's really cool. 
Um, two is a pin and pin rattlesnake thing. Very cool. Spring, get a close up of these. Three is it's an oval pin, but very nice, nicely sculpted. Three has some Bible mods there as well. Yeah, undercut up in the top of three. So this key pin could get caught on that if it was overset. Nifty. Oop. Oh, that's cool. Got a um, ball on a stick with a sleeve that goes on like that. It's like that. Man, these are some great pins. All right, I'm going to get those from the other end. There's some Bible mods on that one too. All right. This is a nice pin designed to take use of all that power threading. And the side is a standard, being quite low cut. That makes sense. Likely to overset it, which I definitely did at one point, but managed to drop it back down again. All right, so yes, there's Bible mods, threading, and an undercut on six here, and I think just an undercut maybe on four, and definitely just one on three. So you can sort of see that they've been modified down there. All right, so here are our pins. So standard, standard, uh, nice slips on that. Nice pin and pin with wafers. Very cool. So that's it like that. Uh, this nice, just normal pin, key pin. This is a catastrophe pin then. So we've got a little nail with a ball on it and then another pin element. Very cool. Um, probably what we must have set that last. Would have cleared that lip, I'm guessing. Standard pin, got a ball bearing for a key pin with a uh, little centering wafer on top, and then this nice carved pin. We've got a couple of different springs, mostly the same though, uh, with Bible mods and core mods. Um, hand done key, very nice. Um, and yeah, with Bible mods there, nicely finished. Nice detail on the, the cam piece all around. Real nice. Um, look forward to passing this one around Australia. And then uh, on the next video, I will get to, well, maybe not the next video, but shortly I will get to this one as well. There we go, Jay Gabriel, thank you for sending stuff. I will be sending you some stuff back because you sent me too much stuff and I'd feel bad not returning it. No, not returning the favor. Um, not going to turn the stuff. The stuff is good. Um, anyway, there we go. That is Around the Block by Jake Gabriel.